What's going on everybody? Biker Dave here. This is a 1966 Plymouth Fury 3, but this will apply to a ton of different cars, trucks, Jeeps, whatever. Uh, let's say your air conditioning blower fan is not working anymore. Like on this model, uh, I've obviously got it all disassembled because I'm you know, fixing the problem in this car. Um, but wherever your, you know, your AC fan or your heater or vent blower fan switch is located, you know, you, if you turn it on, nothing happens. Uh, you also have to turn on your, whatever your controllers are. Like this is a, a vacuum controlled system on these older cars. But, uh, you know, you hit your, like this is where the buttons would be. You, you turn them on, turn your fan on, turn your ignition on, nothing happens. All right, don't panic. First, we need to narrow it down to what the real problem is you know does the fan itself still work or not that's really the first step you should check because it's the easiest one so we'll come outside into the engine compartment and uh, and test the fan really quick all right on uh, and on most uh, most cars most of the older cars at least the the blower fan will be on the passenger side but yours may differ so wherever yours is located track it down and uh, you know you'll need just some basic test wire whatever kind of wire you want to do because we're just going to feed direct 12 volt power to the fan and see if it comes on or not so you'll just you know get to your either your power strip on your car or your battery positive you know very simple though just get you some basic wire and uh, and find the connection to where the fan connects to the wiring harness and disconnect it and we'll see if it works all right, now with my with this car, it just comes out on a green wire. You'll have a green and a black. The black goes to the chassis ground right there. The green one will be your power wire going into your wiring harness, and uh, which is for me this guy right here. And if you have a uh, you know the Chrysler C body style, which is a mid '60s Dodge Chrysler Plymouth. Yours might be the same. Whatever. It usually, your fan probably only has two wires. So find the one that's not attached to the chassis ground. And that'll likely be your power wire. All right, and then we'll take our little test wire here. And we'll connect one end to the positive over on the battery over there. And then the other end of it, we'll just connect to the fan. And if the fan indeed works, it should kick on. So that's what we'll do now. Okay, now listen closely and let's see what happens when we connect this guy. Definitely works. Okay, that's a good sign because some cars, swapping out that blower is not easy. Even though it looks like it's easy to access, on this car, it is not easy to swap out. So that's a good sign if you at least know your fan is working. All right, so let's keep moving. Now we can go inside the car and try the wiring that tells the blower fan what to do. And let's see if we can get some power to that and see what happens. Don't forget to put your blower back together as far as the fan, fan connection over here. Like so. Okay, now from inside the car, uh, you know, if you've confirmed that the blower fan is working outside, come inside the car and disconnect the actual fan switch, which, you know, for yours, it'll probably have like two or three stages or three clicks or whatever. Disconnect that guy, which for me is this set right here, uh, light green, dark green, and look a, looks like a brownish color. All right, now we're gonna see if we can just send the same test wire of 12 volt power. This is the low, medium, and high set of, you know, wires that go to the fuse box and eventually tells the blower fan what to do. All right, so let's plug the power in and see what happens. That's high, of course. Yep, and low. So it goes low, medium, and high. Now that's also a good sign. 
So that tells you your wiring is good. So that probably means the switch itself is no good, obviously, because there's, there's nothing left. There's nothing else that it could be. And, okay, now if you get no, no fan action when you plug straight power to this harness, that means you might have a problem in the wiring going to your, uh, your fuse box. That means your fuse may be blown, so check your fuses underneath the uh, dash or wherever they're located for your AC. Uh, but, you know, it could be just as simple as you have maybe a cut in a wire through here. So just follow like here. We got green, light green, dark green, and gray, or, or it looks like a brown, light brown on mine. So we would follow them down through the wiring harness, which is only a couple of feet right there, and see if there's, uh, you know, some sort of problem in it. Okay. So it could be either the blower fan selector itself or it could be your little control panel you know that's uh, talking to the wiring harness of the car and sending uh, vacuum lines to the various actuators underneath the dash so make sure all this wiring is connected correctly and um, you know and just try to keep it simple make sure the fuse is good underneath the dash as well for the air conditioning unit I replaced both the little control unit as well as the fan switch. So now when I turn on my key, I have air. Now, unfortunately, the little diaphragms, you know, for the actuators seem to be seized up underneath the, uh, underneath the dash for me. So those are kind of hard to come by to replace. So I'm gonna see if I can uh, you know, that opens and closes the various flaps that sends air to various areas of the uh, ventilation. So I may not be able to fix that. My main concern, though, was to have air control coming out of the vents because I know the heater actually works. Um, so, you know, try to get it at least as good as I can without spending too much money. Now, if you determine that your switch is bad, like this guy right here, if the switch is actually bad, not working, like if you put power, uh, or if you've put power to everything, but your switch shows nothing, and this is hard to replace on some cars, you know, it's hard to find even. But fortunately, uh, there's some new old stock for, for this part, as well as the actual vacuum controller for my car. New old stock is, is still out there on eBay. Uh, but if you can't find yours anywhere, if you just want to be able to get a switch installed, a basic universal switch for your blower fan, you can buy these on, you know, Amazon, eBay. I'll put a, a link down below, you know, so you just need to get one that, uh, you know, has the appropriate number of terminals, usually for low, medium, high, and straight power, uh, as well as uh, I think one is maybe for a thermostat, which I wouldn't be using for mine. But here is... See, it's got one, two, three, got three switches, just like my stock one would have. Just, you know, so if you're really desperate and you just want your fan to blow some air and, you know, if your heater still works or if you just want ventilation uh, coming through your vents, you can get something like this and it will work. Uh, you know, you have to, you basically, I mean, if you'd rather not hack into your wiring harness here, you can just do some short little wires, um, you know, like you've got little male spade terminals in here. Just do one for each here, and then you can see on the back of this guy here, it says uh, low, medium, and high on this particular kind of switch. So you would basically run one wire here, then another wire from the pigtail to there and then another one to there and then your 12 volt power which would come from your fuse box underneath to um, battery for this particular switch yours may be different but for an aftermarket switch you know you just want to get something going you would only use those four and uh, and then you can mount this switch maybe under the dash somewhere you know it's got a nice way that you could drill a hole underneath if you really wanted to do it that way or you can just find a way to mount you a little switch so that you at least have some ventilation in the car and uh, you know 
it's better than nothing at least, you know? <clears throat> what I found, my switches were original, both the vacuum main controller switch was bad as well as the fan switch was bad. So fortunately I was able to find them on uh, online. Now make sure when you take everything apart that you take pictures of how everything's connected so you don't get lost when you go to put things back together or you'll be like oh my goodness I don't forgot which goes to what. So make sure you take some photos uh, you know of how it all connects and uh, some of them are kind of obvious because there's the same pattern like so so you know that's just some basics you know test the fan first or the blower it's called make sure it operates and work your way inside the car to see what's at fault and uh, and then just go from there so that can at least give you something to start with uh, you know it's always good to have basic test wire like this you know even in different types in, in alligator clip style or ones that you can install your own connectors just to do basic electrical connections uh, to test stuff out and see how it you know how everything is working or not and um, uh, but yeah check out our other videos about this car we got uh, you know quite a few videos about it this is a 1966 Plymouth Fury 3 also known as the Chrysler C body platform so if you have a C body you know yours might be similar to this one in some of the previous videos we've done and if anything we do on YouTube or if any channel helps you on YouTube and if they're a monetized channel look underneath the video picture for a thanks button and uh, you know you can click that and send them a couple of dollars and thank you because YouTube is completely free unless you're paying for a premium and uh, you know some people get a lot of help from videos like we do too we get help from other people's videos but we also try to help you guys and if uh, and if we do help you send us a bone or two it helps and make sure you check out our eBay and Amazon store called horse powerhouse just google it you'll find it and we're also on Facebook and we got two YouTube channels so check it all out Biker Dave signing off 66 Fury is almost done in a uh, in a minor restoration you'll have a good day